What's up guys, this is Coach Ray and welcome to another episode Kettlebell Training for Arm Sling. In today's video I'm going to show you one really great exercise that trains your knuckle up position or raise in arm wrestling. I've been using this exercise lately myself. I have seen tremendous progress in the last 5-6 uh, weeks leading up to World Championships. I'm going to explain you correct technique, how to do it, how to make it difficult, how to make it easier. And at the end of the video I'm going to give you some suggestions how often you should do it, how many sets and how many reps. So stick till the end. So for everyone who's watching, enjoying my videos, please leave a like, it means a lot to me. If you have a chance, then share it with your friends, become Patreon, link is in description. Knuckle up position is usually used by top rollers, but there are a lot of guys who fight in high hook that need to have their knuckles high so they can rotate you inwards through them. So it helps for everyone if you lacking this motion. This exercise activates not only radialis muscle, but it makes it work together with flexion. Just like in arm sling, we're not just doing one motion, we're doing everything together. So I really like this exercise and uh, let's get to it. So starting position. I like to do it with my elbows bent. This is closer to arm sling position as if we would do if the arms were straight. But you can do it with arms straight, it really depends on you. So, standing position, elbows tucked in. This is harder, this is easier. If you cannot do with your elbows tucked in or even closer, do it with your elbows wide. This is easier and slowly work up. Here, you need to focus that your wrist is straight. I have seen a lot of guys doing this exercise like this. So, you see my knuckles are going outside. That means that I'm activating my extensors. I need to activate my radialis muscle right here. So arms straight or a little bit bent, just like in arm wrestling, and lifting up. As I'm lifting it up, if I go too high, the weight falls back. So you need to stop at the right moment. You can put the weight down each time or you can leave it up and just press your arms down on a bench. To make it easier, use padding, put your elbows down and this is easier to do it because your arms, because the weight is elevated and you can lift it more easily. To make it harder, do the opposite. So now your arms are higher than the weight and it's harder to lift it up. Here, it's really important that you check if your arms are not turning outside. If they're turning outside, you're going with extensor muscles. That is not the muscle we want to train in this moment. So one more time from this angle, this is correct way. You see my arms are straight or even a little bit bent. And when you're doing this and you can see your knuckles going outside, this is when you're lifting with your extensor muscles. So this is another what I like to call old school exercise that really works. So you can strengthen your wrist doing this exercise. So let's get into some suggestions. But before that, I want to know your thoughts. So leave a comment. Have you done this exercise? What are your thoughts about this exercise? Is it beneficial for arm wrestling and how you've been doing in it? Or maybe you have never tried it. Try it and then leave a comment. So I really want to know your thoughts about every video I make. I started to do this exercise again in the summer. First time I did it, 16 kilos was really hard for me. I, I will not lie, doing 15 reps was my arms were burning and it were turning outside. I was taking pressure away from uh, muscle I wanted to work. It was going to extensor muscles. And then I started to doing this once a week, but five sets, at least 12 to 20 reps. I started with 16 kilos and I ended up doing 32 kilos, four sets of 10. So my recommendation is do this once a week. It's really taking exercise. Don't do this before competition or before heavy sparring because it will kill your knuckle position and it's really hard to keep it up after that. Do 10 to 20 reps. When you can do 20 reps, like not, let's say easily, but, but pretty easily, then go up in weight. If you can do 20 reps with 16 kilos, 
you can do at least eight with 24 and the same way it goes when you're going up to 32 kilos so one more time leave a like leave a comment share it with your friends stay strong and love armistice guys